Hey, ah, floor farts. <laughs> I swear it's a floor. Hey, come with me into the basement. Gosh, these floors are so creaky. Don't worry, this is not the beginning of a new true crime story, I swear. We're just down here to get a table. Right here. This boring TV tray. We're gonna paint this guy. For having endured years of wear and tear, it's actually not that bad. So we do have this one pen mark here. The finish is definitely very splotchy. And there's a ring here from when I didn't use a coaster. You know, all the usual. We're gonna have to say bye to these hedgehogs, give them a new home. Some paint over here. Definitely gonna sand this first and then we'll get into customizing. And why don't you figure, I'm already hungry. It always happens right when I film. We're gonna have a snack, which is juice. Lunchtime. <laughs> All sanded, I have a tarp out, and we're gonna get painting. All right. Let's squeeze out these paints, even the clogged, crusty ones. Gonna make it work. as you can see comes a lot of blending and since I'm using acrylic paint which dries kind of quickly I have to squeeze out more paint in these areas which is great anyway because it helps me get more opacity normally I put two to three layers of this paint on a canvas or wood anyway I might work on the same area multiple times until I get a gradient that I feel is blended to my liking. This is what I ended up with. I was pretty happy with it. Now comes the Posca paint pen. And you can of course use a very tiny detailed paintbrush for this or a dotting tool, but using a paint pen is so much easier, for me anyway. It's so much easier to get the detail on and you don't have to keep dipping a paintbrush into paint because this marker is filled with paint that comes oozing out. I am freehanding a star here. If you wanna do stars and you're not comfortable drawing them freehand because let's be honest, this could have went totally wrong and turned out awful. I almost messed up and that's why I made thicker lines. Well, that's one of the reasons I wanted the lines to be thicker, but luckily by doing those thicker lines, I was able to kind of transform the shape of the star a little bit to make it look better, in my opinion. If you happen to think it looks like trash, that's your opinion. But um, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry the puppy's barking if you didn't watch my previous video, I'll link it below, but we got a puppy surprise! His name's Goose and <laughs> he's not gonna let me work right now. I have to take a break. Oh my gosh. The same goes for the swirls. I start with one single line and then in the areas that I want it to be more bold, I of course add more width and 
make the lines thicker. After doing these couple shooting stars, it's not finished yet, but I want to move on to the legs of the table and bring a little pizzazz to those, you know? So I am going to sand the legs down because I kind of got paint on them. Not kind of, I did. <laughs> This is a sanding block. I got this from Dollar Tree, I believe. I'm just sanding away at the paint and it finally did come off. I don't know how long it took, but a lot longer than I thought. I'm gonna go in with this metallic gold paint and just put that all over, all over the legs, every single nook and cranny. After playing Animal Crossing, I think of Nook's Cranny now. I didn't even make the connection before I said it, but who plays Animal Crossing? Let me know in the comment section who your favorite villagers are or like what your favorite thing about the game is. By the way, I need three more fruits on my island. So if any of you guys want to visit me and trade, let me know that also on Twitter. Here, I'm deciding to add more to the design. I told you it wasn't done yet. I'm adding another star. Yes, that's pretty self-explanatory. Probably the most nerve-wracking thing about this entire design is the fact that messing up would mean that I would have to try to fix the gradient underneath, and that's really not easy to do. That being said, I did do a little bit of touch-up with the paint. Again, wanted to make some shooting parts come out of the star, the swirls, and I am making those thicker with the tiniest Posca paint pen ever. This is the best. If you guys don't have the detailing black and white, the fine, like really fine tip ones, I recommend them. There was this part where the paint was not sticking well, so I had to let that dry in between like every single tiny layer uh, for like four or five layers, I don't know. But finally, covered it up. I just had random patches of different colors along the edges, so fixed that as best as I could. It doesn't have to be perfect. P.S. Some of you were probably expecting the big like 10 year anniversary of showing all my things, boom, 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 that I've made over the past 10 years. Um, that will be coming, but it's going to take me a lot longer to film and edit than I thought. So I'm going to put some shorter video or like things that don't take as long in between. But here's your update for that. Let's get back into the table. I had thought about putting little tiny black dots or teeny stars in the background all around scattered, but Ultimately, I decided on this diamond glitter paint, which is mostly a clear paint base with silvery sparkles. But depending on where the light's hitting it or which angle you're standing, it does kind of look different in some areas. It'll look more silver, some it'll look more white, and some it'll look more clear. So I did polka dots with this in the background and I couldn't decide, they looked kind of cool white is what I'm saying before they dried, so I don't know if I want to leave them like this or if I want to go back in with maybe a little bit of white paint mixed with the glitter to make it a different, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Me thinking out loud. Let me know what you guys think. Here is the completed table. Here's what Goose thinks of it. What is that? It's a table. <laughs> yeah. Here's what Leo thinks of it. Leo, what do you think? What do you think about it? <laughs> I am really happy with it. I think it's really pretty. Really, really. Also, I do want to put a clear coat on top of this to seal everything in, but as I'm still deciding if I want to do any more touch-ups, we're just going to leave it like this for now. I did not film an outro for this video, oops. Um, I kind of did a different filming style with this where it's more like vlogish in the beginning. Oops. Oh, shoot. I keep like almost breaking this camera. <clears throat> so I didn't do a formal like intro outro, but this is my outro. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please click the thumbs up if you 
did and subscribe ring the bell you know all that jazz i'll be back asap with a new video i'm not on a schedule currently thank you for watching we hope that you enjoyed the video we hope that you have a great day thank you so much for watching and see you next time ready